We made an announcement this morning, and it's just broken the New York Times, about uh, our zinc hair battery. And you know, while lithium you know, was, a, in a sense, a placeholder, zinc is a holy grail. And the opportunity now to create a zinc naturally occurring material in your body and my body uh, and using oxygen and breaking the $100 per kilowatt hour barrier is what we're here to talk about and announce today. Yeah. Talk, bring it, put us in, help us understand some perspective on what the total addressable market might look like. Well, we, we're now the world's largest deployed actual system in 3,000 systems. We're in nine countries, 200,000 people on the planet in Asia and, Af and, and Africa now are using our systems as sole source of power, the, the sun and the battery. It's a large addressable market. So Tesla's got the power wall. And, uh, but it's operating on what you would call, I guess, the, the older technology, lithium ion. You say zinc is, is the holy grail. How are you going to perform differently, whether it's in terms of efficiency or cost, versus a product like that, which Tesla says is about $12,000 just for the hardware to install in a home? So if you look at uh, lithium now, it's two to $300, what you call per kilowatt hour. It's toxic, it can fire an explosion, and requires cobalt. Zinc with air, if we break the $100 per kilowatt hour, which we've now announced we've actually successfully broken, which is non-toxic and uh, can now be deployed using just uh, the elements of nature and technology. Um, I think that is the holy grail, and Edison tried to do this 100 years ago, and we've now been able to solve this problem. So these are rechargeable batteries, but they recharge using the elements, essentially. Correct. Not traditional fossil fuels, not Correct. to be plugged in somewhere. It's completely rechargeable, and that's the holy grail. How do you recharge it? And we've done now 3,000 cycles. The longest battery going now is five years, 30,000 cycles, which means it charges and discharges. The beauty, it uses the sun to generate the electrons, uses the air and oxygen and zinc. That's it. Uh, Duke Energy has been a partner. Duke Energy, we deployed for the first time in Mount um, in which it survived Irma and survived Florence, which is wonderful. Right. Is it a, a transportation play? It will be. I think one of the things is to get sufficient both sprinter and marathoner. It's a marathoner. It can go for 7, 72 hours and sufficiently powered for seven days. We need to get sufficient energy release and a combination of uh, zinc and some other metal, which we also work with. Is, is, the, is your prediction that lithium goes away? It has or to go away. <laughs> It has to go away. The toxicity of lithium is really cobalt. 80% is from the Congo. Um, and, you know, it's anticipated 18 pounds of cobalt per car. So it was a placeholder. It is a placeholder. How they will not before? coexist, just to be clear. You don't think that they <laughs> I, Well, it, it, it will, in the interim, be a, a hybrid system where you need a combination of lithium and zinc. But the goal for us is for lithium to go away and completely have hydrocarbon-free rare or uh, scarce metal free, toxic metals are gone. How long before size wise, production wise, you can get zinc into something this size, which is where a lot of the lithium batteries are now? You actually have a zinc air battery as a, in your hearing aid. The problem is not rechargeable. Okay. So we've, we're figuring out the rechargeability of it and that's the holy grail. We've done this now in the size and we're reducing that size and that's where we're going, but that's, that's a while away.